Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have everything for you right here. So we're going to make some NBA picks for December the 5th. Uh, and before we do, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section, which will help you make all your picks more successfully. So it's a kind of light schedule in the NBA for Sunday. There's only four games, but we will take a look at all of them. Uh, Utah Jazz and the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Utah Jazz head into Cleveland, third in the Western Conference, and the Cavaliers are currently sixth in the Eastern Conference. You see the Jazz are burning hot at the moment, winners of their last two and four out of their last six. The Cavaliers are also burning hot, winning their last three, after suffering three consecutive losses prior to that. You look at the score prediction has Utah by a 108-103 score, with a 49% level of confidence in prediction. The power ranking indicator shows Utah is at plus 23, and Cleveland climbing very high over just the last week from plus 6 all the way up to plus 18. If you look at the totals predictor, you see Utah is trending in games over the line, while Cleveland has been trending in the games under the line for quite some time. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. Let's see how stable the two teams have been. Uh, Utah has been more consistent with regards to the playing uh, according to the feared underdog status, uh, but Cleveland is also fairly stable as well at plus 3. The way I look at this game here is I think this will be a higher scoring game. I think I will go over the line. I do like the Jazz to win the game outright. Now the line has not yet been set, so we can't really go as far as the uh, betting you know, with the line, you know, if they will cover, because we don't know what the spread is yet, but take a look as the game gets closer to tip off for that. The Hornets and the Hawks. The Hawks enter the contest with the 7th best record in the Eastern Conference, and the Hornets are currently 9th. Atlanta is burning hot. They, have, they are winners of 5 out of their last 6 games. While the Hornets are averaged down, they had won 3, but now are on a 3-game losing streak. The last one, 127-125, against the defending champion Bucks. If you look at the score predictor, the score predictor has Atlanta by a 124-112 margin with a 51% level of confidence. The totals predictor is showing Charlotte is trending in games under the line, or excuse me, over the line, as is Atlanta. So they're both trending over at the moment. So over, it would be a good bet for this game. Let's take a look at the power ranking indicator. If you're looking at power rankings, you can see here that Charlotte is at plus 20. Atlanta, they were up to plus 22 back on November 27th, and they have dipped down to plus 15 despite uh, winning five out of their last six. If you want to see how stable the two teams have been, the consistency factor is always important, and you can see here Atlanta is at plus 12. They are very consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. I like that a lot in this one. That is a key to the bet. I will bet Atlanta to win at home, and I like over. Washington and Toronto. The Wizards are average status at the moment. You can see they are 3-3 three and three over their last 6, but have won 3 out of their last 4. The Raptors are ice cold up. They snapped a 3-game winning, a uh, 3-game losing streak with a win, and they are 2-4 and four over their last 6. The score predictor has Washington by a 109-105 to 105 score, with a nearly 50% level of confidence in the prediction. The power ranking indicator shows Toronto near the bottom, as they have been for a little bit of time here, at plus 4. And Washington has been up and down. You can see there at 21 after being up to 25 back on November the 29th. The totals predictor is showing here with Washington and Toronto. You can see the difference right there. And you can see that Washington has been over the line lately and Toronto has been under the line lately. If you took at the uh, took at the volatility oscillator, you can see the consistency factor. You can see that neither team has been performing consistently according to their favorite underdog status. This is kind of important, which means that you take it with a grain of salt. The favorite underdog status for this game, you see both of them are negative. 
So what do I think is going to happen here? Toronto is just not very good. They're, they're really a very bad team right now. And I like Washington, the way they're playing at the moment. I think Washington will win the game. And I would avoid betting the over-under, though. New Orleans and Houston. This is kind of an interesting game here. Despite the fact that these are the two worst teams in the Western Conference. Houston is burning hot, though. They've won their last four after only winning one prior to that the whole season. So they're just on a roll at the moment. And the Pelicans are average down. They have lost three out of their last six and are three and two over the last five. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see Houston, after being zero for you know, the better part of the whole season, they are now up to plus nine, while New Orleans is at plus five. Houston has been trending in games over the line the three three times out of the last four, and New Orleans three times out of the last four and four out of the last five. So I'm expecting a higher scoring game in this contest. The score prediction has Houston by 111 to 106 edge with 52% level of confidence. Let's look at the consistency factor before we make our pick for this game. Both teams have been consistent and generally speaking consistently losing, right? Uh, they've been underdogs most of the time this season. Houston plus 14. New Orleans at plus 9. One team has to win in this one though. So I go with the home team and the team that has the high end, which is Houston in both cases. I like Houston to win this game in a higher scoring contest, so bet over the line. So there you have it. Those are the four matchups for December the 5th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.